All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy, B, Bold RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video. And today, it is time. My top 20 favorite sneakers of 2017 on feet. Yes, I did go outside in 20 degree weather and record each individual shoe on foot 20 times in cold, icy, snowy weather. But listen, y'all already know I had to do what I had to do. So make sure you drop a like on this video. And also remember, this is my personal list because I already know I'm looking at the stacks right now. And I know some of y'all are gonna be hurt. Some people are gonna be triggered. But remember, this is my party and I can list wherever the fuck I want where the fuck I want to do it at because it is my party my list you guys leave a list down below of your top five maybe your top three shoes or maybe your number one pick from 2017 so let's not waste any more time top 20 sneakers of 2017 on feet let's get it Mama Cita, Cita, Cita. at number 20 we are starting off very light very simple all blue adidas box three stripes this is the yeezy power phase and i picked the original off-white or ivory colorway honestly this is one of my most worn shoes of 2017 just because of the colorway how they feel on the feet and they just feel like a tennis shoe bro they feel like some old sneakers something that you just throw on that you don't really worry about getting dirty because if you need another pair it's 150 180 dollars away these don't really go for a lot in the resale market at least the last time i checked but overall it's a somewhat comfy sneaker it's somewhat flat of course, someone looks like a Reebok Classic. But if I'm not mistaken, the Power Phase Adidas model came before the Reebok Classic. This is just an actual retro of an older Adidas silhouette. We only have two colorways so far, which is this ivory color, which is the OG first color. And then second off, we have that gray color that's a weird grayish blue tint. We know black is on the way, and I'm sure they're going to be dropping a lot more colorways of these in 2018. The Yeezy Calabasas Adidas power phase that was number 20 for me yeah. at number 19 we have a shoe that i was waiting to drop i actually got a double up on these air jordan 4 flight box and that is the air jordan 4 pure money i remember when these dropped in i want to say 06 was it 06 a long time ago i begged my mom to get that pair that retro i begged her we were in New Jersey at Cherry Hill Mall. Some of y'all, when I mentioned it before, knew where that was at. And I begged her all through the mall for hours on end. And finally, at the end, she gave in and got me this pair right here. So I was just really, really excited to see these come back last year. And y'all already know I had to make sure and double up on them. It is a very simple shoe. It's an all-white leather four chrome accents but definitely one of my favorite fours to ever release and don't be surprised if you guys see me wearing these more in 2018 i am aiming to kind of cut down on my collection i've already started doing that and i need to add there's a whole stack over here of new shoes to add to bulls bodega so if you're looking for something new hopefully by the time this video goes up some new kicks are added to the site but listen pure money air jordan 4 number 19. At number 18, we have one of the most slept on sneakers of this year, in my opinion. And not even slept on by people that really want it, but just slept on from the people that seen it from the outside who never picked up the shoe or don't care about the history of the shoe or how iconic it is. I think it was definitely slept on. The all white Force box. And this is the Air Force 107 Rockefeller. On the outside of this shoe, it does seem like a very, very simple all white Air Force 1. But when you really have this shoe in hand, the leather definitely pops. The iconic rock logos all over it and just to actually own something like this and to actually have this drop again you already know i want to double up on these for sure and i'm just waiting to see how low the prices can go i've already seen some of these pairs going for under retail i got mine for retail when i was out in london shouts out to the homies out there oxford circus nike town y'all know where y'all at but right here the rockefeller air force one a truly truly iconic shoe in my opinion and definitely one of the biggest sleeper shoes of last year 2017 man people put no respect on the name but that is fine i'm gonna let those prices keep dropping and now we'll eventually double up 
That was number 18. It's the last days to the rodeo. Last night had me down in the back. Home At number 17, I guarantee 80% of y'all did not guess that this shoe was going to be on my list. Just because after I got it, I kind of locked it away. I didn't really wear it. I haven't worn them until today for this video. And that is the Air Foam Posit 1 dropping again this year in one of the best solid colors. If not the best solid color colorway, the Copper Foam Posit. I know. I know a lot of dirt has been thrown on the foam posit name, but the coppers as well as the eggplants, I haven't gotten those yet and I will get them eventually, but I had to make sure I got the copper pair. This is probably the best foam posit one, in my opinion, any solid color foam posit one, because of course, when we start talking patterns, you got the galaxies, which could be the goat for sure of all foam posits. But when you're talking the solid color, a classic crazy colorway that I could only wish to have a few years ago, this would be on that list, the copper foam posit one. These just shine, bro. And I'm pretty sure you guys can just see from the video, man, this is one of the hardest shoes to ever drop, man. This color, the copper color, is amazing. And maybe during some of these snowy days, I'll get some more use out of these because y'all know these foams are straight up tanks. That was number 17, though. Copper foams, another sleeper for this year. And another shoe that I bet y'all didn't think was gonna make it on the list. Don't think sunshades and the pill gonna help. Once I'm gone, can At number 16, we got more of a predictable pick. I'm pretty sure some of you guys thought that this one make it to the list, and it did, but y'all might have thought it was gonna rank higher. Now, this is my number 16, and that is the gold top three Air Jordan 1. I mean, black, gold, white patent leather i'm not gonna lie to y'all i was not a believer when they first started talking about this shoe when i first seen it in pictures hadn't seen it in hand yet i was not a believer i was like eh these are okay maybe not as good as the old black and gold patent leather joints but actually having them in hand and luckily being able to get them for retail because i wasn't spending 500 or 600 on these maybe i would have spent 250 maybe 300 but five to 600 at least in my opinion because they aren't that hard they aren't 600 dollars hard i'm glad i was able to grab them at retail at 160 locally too when you guys saw me do that pickup vlog so that was my pick for number 16 the gold top three air jordan one a way better shoe in person than in pictures fire fire for sure i was a doubter but in the end fire for sure Mama, she does, she does. At number 15, we have another shoe that came out. This is probably my last cop of 2017. And when I posted a picture of these on my IG and I said these might be, I think I said top 10 or top 5, a lot of people were like, why? These are trash. These are basura. These, these are this. These are that. The blah, 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 blah. And honestly, I think people are just hating on this release. I think there was just so much Gatorade hype, so much Gatorade stuff that when some things get too popular, People just start hating on them because this to me is one of the hardest shoes all year for sure and that's why they are at number 15 on my list orange box gatorade yes the green guys for those people hating on this pair the all green air jordan 6 all green suede orange hits at the bottom and it's so funny to me that when macklemore showed off this pair when this pair was seen on the table with uh what mark Wahlberg in the back people were like oh my god these are hot these are fire Fast forward a couple months later, they drop. Some people can't get them. The whole Gatorade thing, orange box, and now people are saying they're whack. I guess you just can't please everybody, but in my opinion, definitely one of the harder releases of this year. And I have been waiting on this shoe for a long time. And a lot of people just can't rock all green sixes. Some people just can't wrap their heads around something like this. And that's fine. That's fine. But a lot of y'all niggas still hate, though. Y'all definitely still hate it. But that was number 15. <laughs> number 14 is up next. Need ya. Need ya, need ya right now. At number 14, we have this shoe right here that I have been waiting and waiting on, and finally it has re released. We got the re release of all the multicolor, both of the multicolor Flying It Racer colorways that I really, really wanted, and then they went ahead and ended it off for me at least with the Nike. Flying It Trainer Plus in black and white, which some people like to call the Yanits, but I just call them the Flying It Trainer Pluses. Of course, the black and white pair. You guys know I was a huge, huge fan of the multicolored pair that dropped. I, man, I don't even know when these dropped. Was that 2012, 2013 maybe? And I still have that multicolored pair somewhere in the background, somewhere in one of these stacks, but definitely a very 
very comfortable shoe and luckily if I ever need to get another pair since they did restock the resale has gone down a bit so number 14 yay nits which is the most cringe name for these joints but the black and white flying it trainer pluses fire fire in my opinion she get freaky when the lights down the shit crack no way niggas at number 13 we have a shoe right here that i don't think is going to make it to a lot of people's list and that's just because i don't think a lot of people actually own the shoe this list as you guys can tell is nothing that i didn't actually pick up i mean if i really included the stuff that i didn't grab this year the list would be a lot a lot longer but these i actually got a sneaker con la size 11 and a half wish i could have got a 12 but it's cool and that is the air Vapor Max Clot, the Clot Vapor Max. And it is so hard to actually show you guys the exact color of these on the screen. It always looks a little bit too dark. Now this whole shoe is an all over infrared fly knit. The whole upper is basically an exposed fly knit. And y'all know I do love the Vapor Max. And one of the most worn shoes of my 2017 was the Pure Platinum Vapor Max as well as the Triple Black Vapor Max that I literally keep right next to the door because I pick up and put those on all the time. But as far as these joints go right here, this was my number 13 and once again sorry it is so hard to get the color right on these shoes all over infrared joints next one at number 12 y'all know what's going to happen eventually a yeezy had to land on the list in my opinion this is the best colorway in the yeezy 350 v2 because we got a lot of colorways this year but i think this is the best colorway that has ever dropped once they restocked it did destroy the resale value but that's cool that just means if i need to get another pair i can get them for a lot cheaper than 1.5 two racks and they are stuck. For some reason, these shits are stuck in the box. The Zebra Yeezy 350 V2 got a major, major, major delay W on these earlier in the year. And I've actually worn these a good amount of times this year. Is it one of my most worn? Maybe, actually. I've probably worn these 10, 15, maybe 20 times. I don't know. I've worn them a lot just because they're all white, black, and then a little bit of red. So they go with a lot of different things. But in my opinion, this is the best looking, this is the best version of the 350 V2 that you can have. But yes, Yeezy 350 V2 Zebras, that was my number 12. Got them porn star big booties. Let me film it, then shoot it. At number 11, we have another one of my most worn shoes of all year. The Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. And yes, I wear these with pride. Even with the huge tire mark on the left shoe. I honestly don't know where that came from. But these right here, I've probably worn 20 plus times in 2017. It's just become one of my favorite models in this last year. Especially with the gold colorway as well. But the silver bullets are definitely dope. And I actually was able to luckily grab these on the restock. So I have this pair that I can beat up. And I doubled up and have a brand new pair fresh in the box. And some shoes I do that for. I try to really limit myself on the shoes I double up on now. But for something like this, I don't know when they're going to bring them back again. So I'd rather just double up right now for retail. I can beat these ones down. And then I have a fresh pair whenever I need them. Because like I said, these are definitely another one of my most worn shoes of 2017. And they go with a lot of stuff in my closet. So 97 Silver Bullets. That was number 11. Fire. One of the best releases of this year for sure. At number 10, we have another shoe that I don't think is going to make it to a lot of people's top list, but definitely one of my favorite releases all year. The Big 33 on the box. You guys should already know what time it is. The Kith Pippin Chimera, the all over safari print pair. And these joints just look so 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 good on feet now i made the mistake of wearing this all over safari print shoe with a white midsole i wore these in new york in the dirty slushy snowy sleety one of the worst days to wear them and i literally put miles i put miles on this shoe already a lot of blocks have been walked in these shoes right here you guys can definitely tell because the midsole is dirty but still one of my favorite shoes one of my favorite releases just to kind of come out of nowhere in 2017 and these these joints just look amazing on feet. Yes, they are chunky. Yes, they are clunky. Yes, they are boat yacht gang because they are a size 12, but still the Kith Chimeras, all leather guts, premium materials. Come on, bro. These, these right here, fire. And that's why they're at number 10 on the list. Boy, I'm in Colorado, California reef. 
At number nine, we have another shoe on the list. And I got these all the way out in Hong Kong. This is my main Hong Kong souvenir right here. Slight bars, by the way. And I'm forgetting exactly where I got it. It was near Sneaker Street. It was like underground. I'm forgetting the, play, the name of the place. But we went down there and I got these right here. And I got them for a good deal. I think about 220 or 230 USD. And this was months ago. The gold Air Max 97. You guys know I had to put the silver bullets up there. But the gold Air Max 97 made it to the top 10 on my list. Now I definitely haven't worn these as much at all. I probably worn these maybe five or maybe less than five times. And a lot of the times I wore them was actually on my trips when I was out in Australia and Hong Kong. But I was just so glad to finally get this shoe. And just to find it across the world on a whole nother continent was just crazy in my opinion. And that's a story that will always stick with me with these joints. I mean, they're all over gold with the red what more could you ask for for these joints just a fire clean colorway of the air max 97 and honestly i was kind of open for a restock because i was going to try to pick up another pair for retail but that hasn't happened may it happen in 2018 we'll see but right now there was only one drop of these i missed out on one at first and then i flew all the way out to australia all the way out to hong kong and finally got them in my size so shouts out to homie that sold them to me shouts out to hong kong shouts out to china shouts out to everybody that we met during the year 2017 traveling across the world that was number nine hey the bitch so bad call a ticket because i really want to meet him. at number eight we have another shoe that i had to track down i missed out on all three colorways when they first dropped i got one in london which was the gold pair i got the red pair at round two va and once again i got the black pair at round two va and that is of course y'all didn't see it but the supreme on side of the box the supreme air more up tempo red and white gold and all black now i did the orange feet with the black and the gold so when i talk about the shoe i went ahead and grabbed the red and white version now it's not a lot that i need to say this is one of those collabs that i honestly thought it wasn't going to happen when i initially saw like mock-ups and stuff of the shoe i didn't think this is what they were going to look like i did not think they were actually going to put supreme across a shoe like this and they did they put supreme across the whole shoe the first colorway i got was gold next up was red and the hardest colorway for me to track down was always the black pair and it's so crazy to see some of the prices on these have flown up i got my gold pair for about 280 i got my all black pair for about 300 or 320 and i got this red pair for i think 300 280 or 300 once again and to now see these this red pair i think goes for the most the red pair going at 500 600 i ain't gonna lie i like the shoe but trust me i was thinking like hmm, maybe i can just clean these guys up and kind of keep it moving but nah i'm gonna keep these in a the collection definitely some of the hardest collabs to drop all year last year and i'm luckily just to have the whole trio the supreme air morb tempo fire and i ain't kidding the wine but that my mama see the hey at number seven on the list i know i know y'all have been waiting i know people have been like okay so when is he i, I see all these but when is he gonna put this one on the list so at number seven y'all already know what was gonna happen it's not a big surprise or anything the air force one from the af 100 collection and of course y'all see the swooshes so that is the travis scott pair i've worn these one time one time and let me tell y'all if you are going for this shoe just know they are dust magnets since this shoe is an all over white canvas they are just asking they are begging to get dirty so if you get some of these make sure you grab some rejuvenator spray or something like that to keep the dirt rain all that wetness off of them as best as you can the all white canvas bro even though i love the shoe it is fire that shit is so annoying when you wear these so i don't think i'm gonna wear these a lot and when i do wear them it's gonna be on some really nice clear sunny days because i really really don't want these to get dirty i paid 350 for mine and i got these actually when i was out in berlin all the way from germany i got these right here and i've seen the prices starting to go up go back up on these so for me getting them at 350 i think i did pretty well seeing some of these prices people are trying to ask for now travis scott cactus jack acid airs number seven 
And yes, the swooshes, I, I, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to actually figure out I want to have my swooshes like this. But still, fire, fire shoe, number seven. I mean, y'all already knew it. Y'all knew it was coming. Come on, y'all knew. Mama shoot mama, mama, mama shoot At number six, y'all were waiting for these as well. The off-white Air Max 90. And I got these at SneakerCon Atlanta. This was the first off-white sneaker that I grabbed. I had to get mine in a size 11 and a half. I would definitely recommend going true to size if you are going for the Air Max 90. The 11 and a half, I can make it work, but I'm pretty sure my foot will be a lot more comfortable in my natural native size 12. And y'all have seen my review on this shoe already. Y'all already know why I love this shoe so much, but I had copped another couple off-white releases and I like these, but I didn't put them over some of my other ones that I grabbed. And there's still a few here and there that I still left on the list that I need to get. But the off-white Air Max 90, one of the best for sure from the 10. Let's get to the next one. We are now in top five territory. There's a couple of shoes you guys know I'm missing. And you guys might have already guessed my number one. But at number five, at number five on the list, we have the 10 Nike Air Force One Low. This was the only off-white Nike shoe that I got for retail and Nike handed me these joints on a silver platter. I actually got the reservation on Nike sneakers and I was able to get these for retail straight off the Nike app. Y'all saw my other video of me trying to actually cop them. Y'all already know how that went. Did not go well, but luckily enough, I was able to grab these for retail straight off of Nike, and these have definitely really grown on me. I've worn these a lot. There's only one other off-white shoe that I've worn more than this pair right here, and you guys are gonna see those in a little bit, but the off-white Air Force One. Definitely one of those shoes that when I first saw pictures of it, I was kinda iffy, but all the off-white shoes are fire once you see them in person. You just can't really see the materials. Those can't really be translated through a camera image or through actual pictures. You just have to pick them up and see them for yourself. So that was my number five, Off-White Air Force One. Nike, thank you for that dub at retail. I do appreciate it. Now it's on to number four. So for this one, this was one of those shoes that when I made my original top 10 list for the 10, a lot of people really, really disagree with me on this shoe because I have put them so far or so high up on the list, and that is the Air Max 97 off-white release. In my opinion, the all-white with the black, while it might seem very, very simple on the outside, I think when you see these in person, the materials, and kind of that see-through feel of the shoe, if you do wear a colored sock underneath of this, it does kind of change the color of the shoe. You can't see through certain parts and little panels of the shoe because, of course, this is from the ghosting side of the pack. I mean, I think this is when all white with a little bit of black just goes completely right off white for Nike Air Max 97, all that on the inside. And definitely one of my favorite shoes to drop this year. That is why this shoe is at number four. The Air Max 97 has just taken my closet over this year. And this is just another one to add to that list. And I got these while I was out in London. Size 12, definitely runs true to size. Off white Air Max 97, clean fire next up we are in top three territory almost very very close almost made it there at number three i think this one some people are going to disagree with but it, what i'm noticing is that a lot of these shoes i really have a story behind them and the story behind this shoe in particular was just someone really, really looking out for me. Shouts out to homie Chris. I got these in LA, stayed outside all night, got the video down for you guys. And it was just one of those shoes where I just really got blessed, was luckily enough to have someone in the line um, that was able to help me out. And that is the Off-White, the Ivory Air Max 97, the undefeated Air Max 97 in the off-white colorway. I mean, this shoe right here, the black was hard, the green was it, was, it was straight, but this to me was the best colorway. I mean, the off-white, of course, these have somewhat of that Gucci vibe to them, but the green and the red, I just think they really hit it out of the park with this, and this seems like a very, very simple, very easy colorway to come up with, but I just think they put all the colors in the right places. And I'm really glad that they stuck with this color instead of a traditional white, because when you think about white patent leather, 
eventually it is going to turn that oxidized color and when the shoe starts off like this you know it's always going to look like this it's always going to look good and i just think undefeated killed it they killed it with this one right here and that is why this is number three out of all the releases i got this year and some i might be missing out on some i might have forgot but this for me is number three it's just one of those joints that i got with a story behind it to match which make them very special to me undefeated 97 okay let me stop talking about these at number two for 2017 if i had the gray pair that might have been no that probably would have still been number two behind number one but at least this one had to make it on the list bro one of my last cops of this year at seer con and why Y'all know this box. Y'all already know what's going on. The Cause Air Jordan 4. Now this is the all black Ashy Larry suede pair. And eventually y'all know I will get the gray pair. I do like the gray better than the black, but the black is still hard as well. I mean, suede uppers, suede midsoles, glow in the dark soul, cause art styles embroidered all over the upper. I mean, this release just was the full package. Dust bag, little note, I think JB really, really, really killed it with this one this year. And that gray pair is so, so hard, bro. The gray pair is like, them shits is crazy. Let's just say that. The, the gray pair is fucking crazy. So yes, at number two for 2017, number two is the Cause Air Jordan 4. And I know at this point, by process of elimination and the shoes falling down in the background, number one, y'all should already know what time it is, bro. And at number one, my number one shoe over everything y'all see in the background my number one shoe of 2017 back in london i grabbed these y'all already know bro why, why why am i acting like you don't know come on bro off-white air presto now out of all the shoes you could have guessed at what number i feel like anyone who watches my channel pretty faithfully already knew that this was going to be my number one shoe for 2017 and the funny thing about it is I think in 2016 my number two was the acronym air presto and those barely got beat by the olive sf af1 but this shoe right here I've been saying it ever since my video I've been saying it for a very long time this shoe in my opinion some people just love the air jordan one but this shoe in my opinion definitely beats out the air jordan one really really love the material on these and this is another one of my most worn shoes i know that i got them recently but i've been wearing these joints a lot i don't know what it is about this material on the upper the presto was already a very 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 comfortable shoe but if you do end up spending some guapington on these joints just know that they are at least comfortable and you can get a lot of wear out of these luckily they're black which just helps them look not as dirty that is my number one the nike and off-white air presto y'all should already know these joints are just fire that's the one word for them. And I feel like in a couple of years when people look back at some of the craziest shoes to ever drop, these will be in that conversation for sure. But that is it, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, Buzzy Bot, of course. Hold on, hold on, I got him here. Bullet RC, and I will see y'all in the next video. That is it. Y'all let me know how you're feeling about the list. Matter of fact, hold on, come, just come here real quick. Come here real quick, hold on, I, just give me one second. That is the stack right there. Top 20 of 2017. Everything has been put up in this stack. Boxes and everything off to the side. And at number one, we have these guys right here, the Off-White Prestos. That's it, bruh. I'ma see y'all later. Peace. <laughs>